What's up with everybody? This your boy Big Dog C Lo, baby. Wanna discuss some shit with y'all, man. I just seen some situation with uh Boosie, not only him, other rappers. When they be on live or whatever, how they how they talking to their friends. They be talking to their little friend like they little kids, bro. I'm talking about straight son and these dude, bro. And these joker just be sitting around there just taking that shit, bro. And I think it's real messed up that they present that to the world to see that they real trifling or whatever you want to call it to their best friends or their friend. You know, dude, these dudes probably been around them for uh, ever since they was young. Or these these the ones that probably keeping them safe, to be honest with you, because, shit, they ain't been to do nothing. Them going to be the ones jump out there. But it is, I think it's really sad that the, uh, the, big, the artists – would do that to their friend, but I think it's more it's more sad that the grown men that's getting this stuff done to them, sitting there taking it, you know, ain't saying nothing, ain't talking bad. Like, bro, you're a grown man, bro. You better step up. Step up, grown man, man. Ain't no way you letting that grown man talk to you like that. Like, when, well, for example, Boost was in the, his kitchen getting his hair cut, and he telling motherfuckers, get, get, get the F out. Uh, he don't want nobody in the kitchen. Like, bro, who you talking to? Like, man, come on, bro. I'm, I'm, I want to hear that. Like, who the hell you talking to? Man, you got to say that. Like, you know, like, now nah, I get out your kitchen, but shit, you ain't even talk to me like that. Like, shit, man, I mean, at some point, man, people got to be willing to die for for their respect, bro, sometimes. Like, because, man, at the end of the day, bro, bro, you got to have your pride, bro. We men, man. And for them folks to be doing that to their friends, man, on live, bro. Even if you was doing it behind closed doors, bro, that's sad. Like, nah, bro, I ain't even do that to one of my homeboy, And my homeboy ain't even do that to me. Point blank, period. Because, man, that stuff got to stop, man. And people be looking at their friends or their homeboy thinking because, oh, man, he got money, man. I can't say nothing, man. I ain't going to be able to get this, man. Man, dude, go get you a job, bro. Go get your job, bro. Like out of here, you gon' you willing to sit here and take this from your homeboy, but you go you go to a job working hard, working all the hours. Your boss talk to you crazy. You will say anything. Or at most point, your boss don't even say nothing. They they look at you crazy. You you, you bump you bumping at the mouth at them. So hell no, nah, nigga, you ain't gonna let that fly. Don't let your your homeboy fly because guess what? Your homeboy do it one time. He going to do it again and again and again. Because he think, hey, shit, you need me. I'm taking care of you. You going to do what the fuck I, you going to do what I say. And you going to shut up. And if you ain't got no pride, you a, you a, uh, a big dummy, get what you going to do. You going to shut up like a little boy. And guess what? You going to forever be son. You going to forever. It, it, it be sad. You be having jokers. The music artist might be. 25 years old, or 20, or 16, 17, and the people that's running with them, 10 years old than them, and that man would make them do stuff that you would never thought they'll do, bro. Grown man, bro, letting, letting a youngster or somebody, you know, don't give damn y'all the same age. Hey, bro, ain't no way, bro, you letting a man do you like that, bro. Be a grown man. We grown men, man. At some point, bro, we all got to be grown, bro. And y'all need to start acting like that, bro. Y'all need to get the hell from around them musicians that talking to y'all crazy because y'all feel like they throwing y'all a little bit of money. bro. that train going to stop at some point, bro. They is not going to keep throwing you money. At some point, he going to cut y'all off. Y'all probably roll with them three, four, five years, probably ten years. Ain't got nothing saved up. They ain't going to take care of you. They is not going to keep continuing giving you money. And then whatever they giving you ain't worth it. You missing out on your kids. Running around him, protecting him for nothing, for peanuts. You barely sending your kids some. You barely can eat. Man, it be, man. y'all be hearing these stories where these jokes be over the road. Some of these musicians don't even want to feed their homeboy. Their homeboy, man, making millions of dollars. These jokers got to eat McDonald's. And y'all the shooters. <laughs> Talking about keeping the wolves hungry. Man, y'all dope. Man, y'all better wake up, bro. Stop letting these musicians, your homeboy, if you ain't no musician, bro, I don't care if you in, in the hood and your homeboy got a couple thousand dollars. Bro, you ain't no dude, boy. You're a grown man, bro, with kids. 
So, bro, get off that bull, bro, and do what you need to do, bro. But, man, I just want to discuss that with y'all, bro, because I see that a lot, man. I done seen that. But I ain't going to lie, bro. I saw Boosie do that to his home, bro. He was getting his haircut in the kitchen, bro. That kind of, like, like touched my soul, my spirit, bro, to see a grown man talk to another grown man like that. And that grown man just sit there and let it happen. So, at the end of the day, man, man, y'all be safe out there, man. Stay safe. Stay dangerous, though.